don't think that's the big difference. I think mm-hmm. it's the difference is the culture, right, right, in which they live. So mm-hmm. you can tell the difference of uh, a Filipino that lives strictly in her country versus one that gets a chance to <laughs> become Americanized. <laughs> and I don't want to rain on nobody's parade, but a lot of people when when coming over. You're going to hear, oh, man, get you, stop dealing with these American women and go mm-hmm. get you a Filipino and right. go to the Philippines and she's going to do this and this and you ain't got to worry about this no more. You ain't going, you ain't going to hear him talking back. You ain't got to put up with all this BS. No, he talk back. And then when you actually marry her and, you know, bring her here to America or whatever, I don't think it's America actually making them... Uh, yeah. become American. I, I think it's just the actual, it's a woman like any other woman. Actually, people from the Philippines, to a certain degree, have been exposed to westernized culture via movies, social media, etc. And a lot of Filipinas, they go overseas as OFWs, and they go to other first world countries like Japan, Australia, etc. Then they come back home and bring some of that with them. You know, a lot of times, that's what goes on. Um, in the Philippines, you hear about it like a lot of the Philippines, like it's like they said, jealous girl, jealous girl, and so that would be the same thing, like just like an American woman here. But jealousy when is you leaving, they want to know trick. where you're going. Um, That's normal. I don't know. It's all the same. So a lot of times, what men get is we've been told this lie about how how much different the women are, and then when they actually get one, and then she starts talking back. And they're like, wait, what the hell? You talking back to me? Like, you're not supposed to be talking back to me. You're a foreigner. They're like, you're a foreign girl. Um, and just, it's the same. So, yeah. but I think you're kind of more caught off guard that it's supposed to be a bigger difference than than what it actually is. Now, to say that you're actually going 8,000 miles for her is... You're like, well, if they're the same, why would you go 8,000 miles for the same type of girl or the same type of woman that you can actually get here? And I think that's where the difference actually comes in. It's not a difference of whether she's from the Philippines or Thailand or Vietnam or Cambodia. I don't think that's the big difference. I think it's the difference is the culture. Right. Right. In which they live. So mm-hmm. you can tell the difference of uh, a Filipino that lives strictly in her country versus one that gets a chance to <laughs> become Americanized. Uh, but Bev's been here for Become over an American years. girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> and that that's the biggest difference. But the culture, even though they come over and get a little bit Americanized, the culture that they were born with is, is different from American culture. So exactly in american culture the women treat the men differently right in general it's a little bit i always tell bell like the philippines is like america 1970 Mm. and that's the way you got to think about it the philippines is like your grand the philippines right now now it's changing so if you want a girl out there you probably better go get her sooner than later yeah, I agree. Uh, but yeah. the the culture of 1960 1970 here in america was really centered around family sunday dinners yep. eat together mm-hmm. you know the family stayed in the same neighborhood mm-hmm. many times like my dad and his sisters everybody lived on the same street like same here my family is from georgia And I remember going to visit family members during school break from New York City. And yeah, you know, we go visit my grandmother's sisters and her sister has a house over here. Our other sister has a house over there. Our cousin has a trailer back here in the backwoods. Our other cousin has a house over there. But at the end of the day, everybody lived in the same community. So yeah, I could relate to that. And also, when I went to go visit my wife's family in Mas Bate and Mad Bad, it was the same thing. Mama's house is right here. Her uncle's house, Uncle Junior's house is right here. Her other uncle's house is over here. Same family type, the same type of community. It was a community. The same community structure, you know? Like they didn't go moving off to different neighborhoods or different cities. Mm -hmm. Everybody stayed there. So that's kind of how 
the Philippines still is well, in the province. Is, is that you get that the girl is still kind of um, indoctrinated into more of a family culture. Right. Um, so if if you're looking for a more more of a less individualized wife right. that's not really into the American individualistic right. culture, then in other words, if you're looking for a wife who values the nuclear family structure, you're on the right path. And you may want to travel 8,000 miles to find a girl that that's still born and bred mm -hmm. to be family oriented. Right. And also the uh, I think the home part. Right. Another thing is um, a lot of guys you know, who bring their wives to their countries, their Filipinos to their countries, I would say you got to have the resources to do that. You can't just be uh, doing these types of things and you don't have any money. You know, you, you vet the woman, you found the right woman, you bring her to your country, and she's like, wait, where, what the hell is this? You know, you know, and then, you know, sometimes these guys don't want the woman to work and stuff like that, but they fail to realize we so-called foreigners, that's what they call us in the Philippines, foreigners we foreigners get the breadwinners of the family we get the women that the majority of the family look up to you know whether it be for advice or finances we get the breadwinners so of course these women they want to work they 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 want they want to be active they don't want to just come to your country and become housewives overnight now you know a lot of guys if you can afford to do that to bring your woman to your country and have her not work fine you know, but a lot of times these women, they're motivated. They want to work. They, they want to do things. They want to they want to be active. So, yeah. yeah. And that's another thing that men got to think about when vetting a woman to be his wife, you know, a Filipina to be more specific. Anyway, what do you guys think about this video? Leave a comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.